Hello there! This is the 100th video? You read the title, let's get on with it. First off, we got this staircase right here, and if you press the button, the staircase moves away, revealing another staircase leading down. The redstone here is all pretty simple. I use staircases there, so that way it looks flush with the wall. And it's just a simple knot gate with two pistons. This is a lectern sand trap. Once you reach page 5, the sand will drop down on top of you due to these knot gates and a comparator that's being used. It's a very simple measure of the redstone power, whereas once you reach page 5, the power will be enough to power the knot gate. Here we have a toddlerable fireplace, or a brick oven, whichever you choose. If you press these buttons, they will turn on and off the campfire inside. It's a pretty simple mechanism. The observer detects whether the button is on and off, so it dispenses the water twice, and that simple button setup will do for the fire. There's also a fence gate right there so the water doesn't spill out. This is a useless machine that eats the lever after pushing it away. However, it is faulty, having flaws, like sometimes it does that. Around the back we have some surprisingly simple redstone that just powers the pistons, and there's a knot gate, a bunch of timing junk, that sticky piston down there is where the hopper is supposed to be. But yeah, it's kind of broken, so uh, yeah, it's about it. This is a pufferfish trap. Once you open the chest, as shown in the small video in the corner, the back door will close, pufferfish will fall down on you, and uh, yeah, you'll probably die due to the poison. Using some knot gates, repeaters, and a boatload of pufferfish, we achieve the goal of fooling anyone who is foolish enough to steal from us. Congratulations, you made it to the very end of the video. You win my respect, and nothing else!